hello everyone welcome back to the last video of this flexbox tutorials so in this video we see flexbox in use here i'll go through what i have here and how i was able to achieve this layout in the end i will also share some useful resources and websites you can learn more about flexbox so i have these nine boxes here so basically if i show you the html just a div with um these numbers in them and uh, the parent dev is called card here I am making the parent element a flex a flex container this is just setting a fixed height for the element I'm setting the flex direction to row so I mean this is just the default flex direction which means that the main axis is from left to right and the cross axis is from top to bottom now I'm saying flex wrap and that is the reason why I am able to get these ones down here without the flex wrap I will have all of them stacking side by side struggling to fit inside the container and you also notice that because we don't have this flex wrap the item does not obey the width set for it so if I go here I've set a width for the item width and height 100 pixels here but because there is no flex wrap it has not to be the width and height so when I bring back the flex wrap it's now start to be in the width and height set for it and that's because it can wrap when it gets to the minimum width of the container right so if I try to shrink the browser or expand the browser yeah it's going to wrap you would notice that the size of this element the seventh element is bigger that's because i've set the flex grow as two so based on the space available for the flex items going to occupy the rest of the spaces available after the default by default these flex items have a flex rule of zero so this is going to occupy the rest of the space so if i make it bigger going to and um, I am also doing align items center just to make sure they are aligned center on the cross axis so yeah from top to bottom justify content center as well you'd notice that these numbers are also in the middle of the container and this is possible and easy because um, these containers are also flex containers themselves right so you see a display flex here and then I do align item center justify content center to be able to center this uh, text in these containers I mean the limitation is just uh, up to you you can have flex containers inside flex containers inside flex containers I mean just to achieve whichever layout you want to achieve so layouts are much simpler because of flex boxes and understanding how to use these flex boxes makes our life a whole much easier so to learn more about flex boxes some few websites you can actually uh, check them out i would put the links to these websites in the description so that you can have access to them easily so when you go to css tricks there is uh, a complete guide to flexbox it's a very 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 good guide uh, it will teach you a lot about flexboxes so you can just go to this site and learn more about flexboxes here the next one is css reference so when you come to the flexbox section um, it also contains very very useful information and good examples about flexboxes which you can find here so I'll leave the link in the description you can check this out now I find these ones very interesting as well so this is a flexbox froggy it's basically a game to help you understand flexboxes well so for example if I do something like justify content flex and you see that it will align the frog on the pond here you go to next this one is going to be justify content center so you can just do justify this content center like this and then it will align them perfectly on their respective points 
so basically this is going to help you improve your knowledge by playing a game it's a very fun game to learn flex boxes so try and check this out and this one is very similar to the previous one it's also a game so i'll leave all the links in the description you can check them out thank you very much for staying with me don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of these like the video and also leave your comments thank you very much i'll see you again next time